Hi, I'm Garrett with ICB Woodcraft, where we imagine stuff, we design it, and we make it. I want to talk today about Bob's CNC machine and how to resurface the bed. Normally, when you get it in, the bed is not going to be totally even with the gantry. And so that has to be flattened out. So I've generated a program which you can purchase from Etsy for a uh, dollar that will resurface this so you don't have to try to write it because it is kind of goofy to write the program. Uh, there's going to be a link down below in the description. So let's talk about how we do this with this machine now. I've assembled this machine and what I found is my high point is over there. My lowest point is like right here about the 18, 19 inch area. So, so basically the bed is drooping like that and from the side it's leaning forward like that. Now the deviation is maybe a, a, a 0 0.05 of an inch but we've got to get that cleaned up. So the profile I have written is going to start at machine home. So it's going to be X0, Y0. So your Y is always going to be in the plus direction and your X will always be in the plus direction. What the tool will do, if you write your own program, it's going to come over two inches and it's going to come down, looking straight down at the machine. The tool is going to come over two inches and it's going to ramp down like that at 25 inches per minute and then it's going to start a cut over to zero zero and then it's going to come and profile the entire thing on a climb cut and then it's doing these step ins one inch it'll come back here it'll do a little ramp in on each step and it comes over here all the way down 24 inches picks up and goes back and does another step in in the clear in the cleared area already comes over so it's, it's doing steps uh, an inch at a time. So it's a little bit of overlap on my cut, which is what I want. And we're just going to step it all the way across. So the tool I'm using to resurface this bed is a one and one eighth inch router bit. Now I got this particular one because it's carbide, which they all should be carbide tipped. You can see there's a little step there that's been, this tip has been welded onto the body. Uh, also, it's got a nice square profile, so I can use it for side milling as well. My feed-in rate is going to be 25 inches per minute. So that's like ramping in. And so ramp in is when the tool comes in like this, it's going to cut the surface that's coming down like that instead of a plunge cut. So the plunge feed, which is going to be the same feed, is 25 inches per minute. Now I've amped up the feed rate to 70 inches per minute. So as far as putting the bit in, just a little tip, what you want to do is get this bit all the way up as far as you can. That'll take out any vibration that's going to pass through the shaft as it's doing cuts. So bring it all the way up. When you tighten a bit, you don't have to kill the tightening. It's, you want to make, make it snug enough. That collet in there grabs the entire shaft, which is a really strong hold. Now before I run this, I'm going to mark this bed so I know that I get everything cleared up. So basically, I'm just going to draw lines with a Sharpie about every two inches apart. And I'm just going to clean up the entire workspace that this is going to run over. Now, there are two inches of non-cut area over here. There's two inches of non-cut area over here. The machine right now is at home. Bob's E4, the, la uh, the first eight inches from the back of the machine is completely unusable space other than you can run your parts through the machine to clamp them down if you have long parts and you're going to t do tile cuts. Other than that, you can't run any tool path over the first eight inches. The, the uh, 24 inch area is from eight inches in from the back to just over the front lip and about two inches in from here. You can see this is that home position right now. There's two inches clearance. There's two inches clearance over here. So I'm just going to kind of avoid trying to get outside of that area. That's good there. We'll do some hashes that way really quick. And that's what I have. Now I'm going to zero my tool 
in the middle of the machine. I know that this is my high spot, but we're going to go into the middle of the machine. My first pass is going to do a .05 of an inch, and we'll see where that takes it. I think that's probably going to clear everything out because it's not a big deviation, but let's see. Let's uh, run this puppy out. So something to take note of, this generates a lot of dust. You can see I'm doing this in my living room because I just moved into an apartment. <laughs> but it is what it is. I'm on a mission. Uh, so make sure you have good ventilation or wear a mask. So there we have it. This is the entire working surface. Now this line is at the home position. So I can actually use this as a reference point and that to set my boards on because I'm usually cutting 24 by 24 and you can see there's a clear step there all my marks are gone I did a couple overshoots there and over here it's cleaned up but you can feel a distinct height difference between this one and this side the right and the left side and you can see it back there so now I've got a flat surface you can see a little bit of mill mark which means my my head is a little bit out of tram and it looks like it's out of tram that way just by the feel of these grooves so there we are we've resurfaced Bob's E4 uh, bed and two tips this generates a lot of dust so either wear a good mask get out of the room or have a vacuum system and the other thing is, if you want this program, there's a link down in the description to my Etsy store for this file to resurface Bob's E4 uh, Evolution 4 CNC machine. And the instructions will be there with that. So it's a digital download of the actual G-code file for this. I'll throw in the model as well, the uh, VCARB program, and the instructions on how to set everything up. If you found this video helpful, please like and if you have any tips about doing the resurfacing, make a comment down below. That's it. This is Garrett with IDC Woodcraft, where we imagine it, we design it, and we create it. And I will talk to you next time. Thanks for watching.